Hey guys, we are on Google Hangout. We're doing something fun with WrestlingMayhemShow.com. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron. Not from Mayhem Studios, actually from uh, Sorgatron Media Headquarters in the palatial estates here in Beachview in <laughs> Pittsburgh, PA. Uh, so uh, we're doing something different, something new, and I'm hoping this uh, this, this is going to be awesome. We got with us right now uh, Nathan Paletta of, of course, uh, the great RPG. We had a great Indie Mayhem show with him several months ago. Not from the... Whoa, Whoa. caller, from turn down your radio. Media headquarters. Uh, oh, no, it's getting worse. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're the world Worldwide Wrestling, the great RPG game, and of course right now uh, there's a Kickstarter as we speak. It's obliterating the Kickstarter, uh, the the International Incident Expansion Pack. How you doing, Nathan? I'm doing great. Thanks so much for reaching out and putting this together to try out this uh, this, this silly game of mine. Awesome, awesome. We're all about silly games around here, and especially if somebody else can help us play them. Um so, uh, and this is actually an idea that, you know, you said that you were doing this uh, when we had you on before. I wanted to get the guys together. I figured it was a perfect time since there's a Kickstarter live right now. Uh, see what this game is about. See what trouble we can get into with it. Uh, myself, I, I consider myself an RPG noob. I've only done Dungeons Dragon, uh, Dungeons and Dragons like a handful of time. I have and, no uh, Vampire Dark Ages. Riz here is with us, and I think one you thought we were doing an iPhone app or something yes. <laughs> when you came in. So apparently, apparently, the invite got misread uh, when I sent that over to Riz of Riz Plays Games on the YouTube's. How you doing, sir? I'm doing good, Sorg. Thank you for having me. Actually, awesome. This is gonna, it's be, gonna fun. be fun to know this thing. And of course, who else but the biggest gamer I know, Chachi of uh, Chachi Plays for Kids, insertcoinbegin.com, is with us as well. The bus people want to know him, I learned tonight. Hello, friends! <laughs> Thank you for including me in this fun. All right, so we're going to get into the game. We have character sheets in front of us. Um, and uh, Explain what we're about to do here. All right, well, so... For this game is a tabletop role-playing game, uh, so we all have some version, whether physical or digital, of these play sheets. Here is a example. Uh, Ooh, color! Yeah, fancy. <laughs> uh, so you guys are going to go ahead, and we're going to talk about. So you're all going to be playing individual wrestlers that you're coming up with, brand new right now. We're going to talk about them, kind of their background. We're going to do some questions that kind of give us some backstory to them. I'm creative, uh, which is the game master or dungeon master role in this game. So I'm going to be listening to what you guys are saying, uh, making some notes, uh, and then once I know who my uh, roster is for the night, I'm going to go ahead and book our show. Uh, so it's very responsive in that sense that the, the game is pretty much entirely based on the, the personalities and the characters that you guys pick. And awesome. then we'll uh, and then we'll get to the action. So I guess we'll start by uh, finding out what you guys have come up with so far, right? All right. Well, how about we start with Chachi? Because, again, he's kind of the RPG uh, veteran here. Uh, so I, I think I think he, he, he can give us the sample to go by here. I, I, yeah, I got most of this, uh, most of this figured out. Um, so I, I used the anti-hero. Um, I gave myself a zero for look, uh, minus one in power, a plus one in real, and a minus one in work. Right um, so, so I used my add one to stat to power to make it almost balanced, but not too bad. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, for the, I guess for our, for our audience, um, those four stats are basically the core of each character. Everyone's going to have a different set of ratings in those, and that's a number added to two, to a two d six roll when you do specific things called moves in the game. So, Vanta Hero, you're good at uh, talking, and you're good at kind of twitching the curtain and breaking kayfabe in a way that's that's advantageous to you and not and not uh, going to break break down the fourth wall too much. Right. I, I'm here for the show. I could care less <laughs> about the wrestling. Um, <laughs> right. So, um, I, my character's name is Aaron Burr. Mm -hmm. um, he's uh, ripped muscularly like uh, Ryan Reynolds. Uh, comes out in no shirt... Uh, black crew cut hair, uh, black boots, black tights. Extremely plain, down to the point. Um, he has a down home and gritty entrance, and he hails from the seedy underbelly of parts unknown. Oh, the seedy underbelly. 
Yeah, yeah, not just parts unknown. This is the bad part of parts unknown. Did you uh, are you are you committed to being a babyface or heel at this point, or did you want to I, hear what everyone else is doing? I, I put them down as a babyface, but I am not committed to either of those. I can go either way. So it, whatever we can decide later, once everyone else makes their characters. Cool. Uh, great, and that's uh, that's that's enough to start off with, and that's kind of the level of detail that 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 is appropriate for sure to get started. So. Uh, Riz, do you feel confident to go next? Uh, sure, why not? Okay. All right. <clears throat> so I picked the veteran. Mm-hmm. I know you know. He's he's grizzled, rugged, and has a beer gut. Nice. He hails from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. He is Walter T. Fuzzy Bottom. <laughs> not not just Walter T. Fuzzy Bottom. This yes. is Walter T. Fuzzle, Fuzzy Bottom the second. Well, yes. he comes from a long line of Canadian wrestling royalty, the Fuzzy Bottoms. The Fuzzy Bottoms. The Fuzzy Bottoms, you know, built the Stu Hart's dungeon by hand. Stu <laughs> um, Hart wouldn't be anyone without the yes. Fuzzy Bottoms. <clears throat> so I started out with zero in look, uh, zero in power, <laughs> negative one in real, and plus one in work. I use the, uh, the plus one for my power. All right, sounds like we'll have some some uh, feats of strength coming up. So for the for for um, reference, uh, stats start off a little low because there's room to grow with your mm-hmm. characters. So a zero is like like obviously a a one or a two <laughs> is good. A zero is not necessarily bad. It's kind of like a a, a median median stat. So uh, cool and. Are you thinking face or heel? Or? I'm actually leaning more towards heel. Yeah? A little contrast? Yes. The, uh, well, the you know, bottom. with a name like Fuzzy Bottom, you can't well, be yeah. a good guy. Can't I mean, he's guy. been picked on for how long, so why not? Right, right. I like he's, it. He's bad with a legend. <laughs> oh, and he comes out to a solemn, dignified way. For does he years. or does he not come out with the Canadian flag? Ooh. As a heel, he would almost have to. You know what? His his tights are Canadian are, flag. Are the Canadian flag. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice. Wait, is it is it white with a red maple leaf or red with a white maple leaf? Mm. Maybe he has half. different sets. Yeah, yeah like, cuz I mean one half actually one half is red and white and the other one's white and red. There we go. Very good, very good. <laughs> All right. Is it my turn? It is yeah. your turn. <laughs> All right, here's what I have so far. <laughs> I went Jobber. Okay. Right. Um, he's from, he's from, well, I put right here, but I'm leaning towards <laughs> he's from right here in Pittsburgh, so I, I'm kind of leaning into that a little bit. Of course you are, Homer. Um, I, you know, I, the more I, I'm, because I, 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 I'm, I'm imagining the Brooklyn Brawler, and this is kind of forming in my head as we go. Uh, <laughs> but, but Yinzer Brooklyn Brawler, like if, if you jag off in Pittsburgh, Dad, and I, I'm sorry if you're not from the area, and, and, and maybe not though these guys are online, you can check them out. Um, but like, I, I'm just gonna lean into this whole Pittsburgh thing. Yeah. Um, like he he comes out. Um, I'm definitely gonna. I have to tell you what. Can I do like? Can he be face? Can he do a Bret Hart and be face in Pittsburgh, but a heel everywhere else? Is that possible uh, yeah, within yeah. the realm of this? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. for sure. Okay. I mean, if if we're and then if we're you know I guess that makes sense. If we have a heel face situation already, mm-hmm. I can I can go either way. Yeah. I mean um, I mean Walter T. Fuzzabottom is is renowned in Canada, sort. Hmm. Uh, mm. Oh, name, name. I, I was going with Job the Jobber originally. Uh, I'm just gonna go with Job the Jagoff. Uh, just to lean into this. Yeah, yeah. You should. Uh, you need that local flavor. That local. Yeah. Uh... Exactly. Exactly. Like he can wear like a Permani Brothers T-shirt out. You know, <laughs> obviously Steelers jersey, especially when he has a show in Cleveland. 
You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, real easy. Really, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Re I'm not rewriting the book on this one at all. Uh, well, wrestling as which this may came, come as a shock, but wrestling runs on puns and retreads of uh, already known ideas. So, mm, uh, well, we do uh, over on uh, on the wrestling mayhem show. I remember for a while. Um, it's okay. What what was it? The seven year rule that we had. If yeah. a, if if a gimmick or a storyline hasn't been used for seven years, it's fair game. Oh yeah. So, um, so watch me on my timelines here. And mm -hmm. oh, and also considering since everything is usually about fifteen years behind in Pittsburgh and trends to begin with, we can <laughs> right, extend is, that. You know, we have thirty that. years behind. Exactly. So that means everything's new to us. Yeah. So. All right, uh, and I got to do this kind of who uh, who can't remember who I am and stuff, right? Yeah, so we'll we'll go through those in a second. Okay, um, no problem. Uh, stats you need. Um, so so with the yeah, way that this works sharing. out, what's that? Yeah, go ahead and share your stats. I like I'm not like writing down or anything, but yeah, go ahead and share them. Okay. So have uh, for a look, negative three because have you seen? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it, it, it listen. It, it started at negative two, and I had to add one, subtract one, well, and I figured, listen. Have you seen Pittsburghers? That so is a we good can move point. On. Like, there is there is one mechanical nitpick, which is actually the the bottom you can go is minus two. Oh, so well, you'll have to move your minus one to somewhere else. Oh, so you broke the game already. Sorry, you already already broke so it. So I am the bottom of the pile. Like I look like I look like the Pittsburgh hobo. I look like Sawtooth Willie. Like I think you, that's uh, yeah. You are not good with connecting with the audience. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Unless I'm in Pittsburgh. You were there for a paycheck. Let's see if you can build up, uh, you know, if you can you can build up a little momentum, which gives you a bonus on your rolls and time your time your promo just right. You might be able to come over the okay. make it over the hump. Okay, I mean, listen, uh, we're here for the paycheck. I got laid off from the steel mill. This is what <laughs> I fell into, yeah. and th th that's how it is. Um, which is really funny since I ran into an indie wrestler at the community meeting tonight. But anyways, uh, <laughs> it was a virtual. No, so it I will say that the 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 kind of position on the roster, such as it is, uh, is uh, is is that while you are you know, no one's buying your shirts or anything, but you know you're you are in that kind of Brooklyn brawler spot where it's like you're a reliable hand. We know we can put you with anyone like that kind of thing. Uh, whether it, you want to lean into that or you do want to go the the like off the kind of uh, off the street kind of vibe, that's up to you. But that's the if it can be off of Carson Street, yes. Um, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, I'm going with that. I'm going with that vibe. I'm going with the off the street vibe. Like, I have no idea. I'm here. I'm, I'm singing. I'm singing Here We Go Steelers when it's absolutely inappropriate, like church. Um, <laughs> and, and, and the, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be the awkward Pittsburgher at this point. I'm going to lean into that. So, all right. So, we know that I look, I look horrible. Um, so, I, I'm going to, I guess. As uh, I had a power at one since I was at zero, anyways. Can I? What happens if I put real at negative one? I'm, I'm not uh, I'm trying it to. It means that you're not gonna be doing too much breaking kayfabe, which. Oh, it's real to me, damn it! Have you been to a show around here? It's real to all of them. Believe me. Um, can I put a negative twelve if I'm from West Newton? I don't know the reference, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Sword. <laughs> I'm getting too local. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's for you the were show just local enough, and then that that took went over the line from from my my, my uh, Chicago Awkward. roots. Awkward, awkward. I'm I'm completely leaning into that too. Uh, so what I got? So if I got this right, look negative two, power at one, real negative one, and work is a plus one. Great. Yeah. Good at good at wrestling. Awesome. Uh, what else do you need from me? Uh, so let's see. For our antihero. Uh, are you feeling? Are you? Would you be okay going babyface for that? Yeah, or? that's that's fine. I think it would make most sense to for you and the and the veteran to be opposed in this instance. Right. Um. So yeah. So I guess it's up to you whether you want to. Basically, are we in Pittsburgh or not? So are you a face <laughs> or not? Is kind of the is is the main question. Which means like like. Like seventy five percent of the time, I'm probably going to be a heel, I guess. Right. Ish. Right. Yeah. Yeah, this That's will be I'll our. Both. We'll we'll have our promotion be you know kind of like a, a mid you know Midwest upper upper Midwest kind of regional thing. So okay. the the gimmick makes sense, right? We're not like off yeah. in like uh, 
we're not off in Japan or something where it's just like I'll make fun of deep dish pizza all day. You know what? Like, what's the deal with that? Um, right on. So yeah. So how about we won't be in Pittsburgh? So you will be a heel. Going for it for tonight. Love it. (laughs) All right. Cool. Um, and did you uh, pick your move from the the other side of the or the second page? So it has do the job. I'm never going to win. Uh, right. Career wrestler is in this already. And right. um, I was going to do sympathetic, but I don't know if that works with, with how I'm leaning towards this. <laughs> um, so we will do... gimmick. Man, no. I've, I like to... Okay. Let's do Jobber to the Stars. All right on. Uh, going to look at that real quick. Oh, wait, I guess that's if there's another jobber, huh? Um, well, so you can go ahead and pick that. Uh, it kind of what that does for me is it means like, oh, may I go ahead and, you know, throw you that bone since you have that move to, to where we get to see you win. Okay. Um, so like a kind of a one, two, three kid situation? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then everything else, nothing else I have to pick out here? This is all as we go? Uh, right. Uh, okay. Yeah, you just, yeah, there's not, everything else on that side is for tracking stuff that kind of happens in play. All right. Cool. And uh, the our, our veteran and, and anti-hero, you guys picked your special moves from the second page? Yeah, I picked uh, Mouth of the People and Twitch the Curtain. Cool. And I got uh, Respect the Business. Mm-hmm. And where's the other one at? I think you just get the one pick. I just get the one? All right. Respect the business. Got to respect the business. Well, this this will go really well. <laughs> oh, and you wanted my... Uh... No, never mind. No, nope, good. good. Yep. Yeah, you pick one to respect the business. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, cool. So we are going to start... Or we're going to go ahead and do your heat questions, which are establishing some backstory and giving me a little material to work with to book the show. Um, so for the purposes of the game, heat, uh, you know, it's a, it's a wrestling term that has a lot of different kind of connotations. Uh, what it means in this game is the more heat you have with someone else, the more the audience is into your uh, relationship and your, your confrontations. So you have a lot of heat with your blood rival as well as with your, like, best, your, your best buddy tag team partner. Um, it means that the audience wants to see you guys in the ring together. So having high heat with another character is good because it lets you uh, g- put more butts in seats, basically. It doesn't necessarily relate to having, like, backstage heat uh, or having, like, uh, you know, some kind of badness going on uh, off-camera. That's all kind of ha- handled narratively while the stat is representing what's on-camera and the, the, the chemistry that you have. So, that said, let's uh, start. Uh, how this works is we're just going to go around. Each of you is going to pick two questions out of the four that are on your sheet um, and ask them, and then someone else volunteers to answer that question, and then we'll <laughs> talk out what that means. So maybe we'll start with our anti-hero again. Um, uh, go ahead and pick, pick your first question. Who do I have to kick the shit out of to show how badass I am? <laughs> All right, one of you guys gets to volunteer to answer that question. <laughs> no. Hmm. no one wants to get the shit kicked out of them by the wire. Uh, no, 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 Wait, he's the fa- he's. Mm-hmm. I have the baby face. Yeah. But he's still tough, right? Like, he is still right. tough. And also with that, like with some of these questions, we can have it be an on-stage thing, like an on-camera thing where this has happened mm. and the audience has seen it. Or this could be backstage where like you just had to take someone to, to task in the locker room you know, to, to establish your spot. I've been in this business for so damn long. I have to respect the business of the fuzzy bottoms, so I take up your challenge, and I will kick your butt, mister. Wow. So, That's what uh, I'm talking about. 
Nice. So was this a, a, a storyline thing? Yes. Where uh, Aaron Burr got the better of you and, and, and whipped your ass on TV? Of course. After uh, you, you challenged him? Awesome. I'm going to chuckle I re- like for a while while I'm hearing that name, by Funny the way. Both, both of them. <laughs> Aaron Burr versus Walter T. Fuzzy Bottom the second. Yep. It, it, it looks real good on the poster. Yeah. It's a duel. I demand satisfaction. Right. <laughs> like, like Fuzzy Bottom has the, uh, the classic pose. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, like the Simon Gotch thing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but with the big gut instead of yeah, being an incredibly good shape. Uh, cool. And what's your second question? Who do I think is a slave to management? Wow. Ooh. Now is that your question or? So he's asking uh, the question. One of you guys volunteers to answer it. So whether. You think that uh, it'd be interesting for for you and, and Aaron Burr to have this really contentious relationship where he's kicked the shit out of you and he thinks you're this corporate stooge? Or, uh, I'm, or, or does I'm the, I'm, uh, Joe I'm the gonna, Jagoff... Uh, listen, listen, when I worked at the steel mill, I was a company man. Okay. Oh. So I think it's going to be me because I'm going to work for the company and I don't want to get laid off again. Because we've been through, you ain't seen hard times in the steel mill. Yep. When a, when a when a pierogi took your job. Yeah, I've got that one. Nice. Okay. All right. So, uh, so Aaron Burr, you you have plus one heat with each of them because they each answered the question one question, and then you have an additional actually heat with both of them because they're both heels and you're a baby face. So you should be at two heat with each of those guys. Okay. Um, with bigger like groups, these you know they change. They're a little more variable, right? Because with five or six players, there's more options for who answers what. But yeah, uh, just going through the that's how the mechanic works. Uh, cool. So maybe let's go ahead and do the the jobbers questions next. If I go, Riz. Sure. Hit. Go ahead. All right. Um... <laughs> I won't do who refused to work with me because I feel like that get weird <laughs> with three people. Everyone. <laughs> um, who can't remember who I am? Oh, that's me. <laughs> it, it's not even that I can't remember who you are. It's that I feel like you don't deserve for me to remember who you are. I'm just some guy from the steel mill yeah. having, having hard times. But you're that guy. Really yeah, you're that guy who's in the locker room because the bosses want you in that locker room. Mm-hmm. And I don't need to talk to you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and who is always trying to get management on my side? That would be me, sir. You deserve more in this business. I can train you, sir, and you can yeah. become the greatest wrestler here. Okay. Okay. You can be... One of the fuzzy bottoms. Oh, top I'm man. sorry. You could be Job the Fuzzy Bottom. Yes, I like that. <laughs> Maybe. Someday. <laughs> sorry. Alright, cool. Zoom. So you will start with one heat with Walter T. Fuzzy Bottom and two with Aaron Burr. Yay. Because one man's reach and he's a baby face in your heel. Mm-hmm. Alright, and we'll go to the veterans questions. <clears throat> Who has no respect for all the work I've put into this company? Gachi. Yeah, that would be me. Gachi, I mean, I think all this, just go, let's just go with that. Yeah. You've been mm-hmm. coasting on your name for far too long. I've beaten a bear. What have Fuzzy you Fuzzy Bono. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can no longer coast on your name alone, sir. We'll see about that. Yeah, I think that the talking point that you've beaten a bear is one of the <laughs> one of the uh, things that comes up, comes yes. up a lot. Like every time, like every 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 yeah. prom every right, promo on I've the poster been... as you doing this, and underneath it says he's beaten a bear. <laughs> it's like, the, the poster has said that for ten years. What? <laughs> it's the same pic. It's it's not even like an updated picture. It's mm-hmm. like from. Like the 70s, and he's just doing the same pose. Right. So, so, 
the night of like the night of legends like anytime you see like a, you know Bret Hart is completely coming into this promotion to, in your hometown but it's the picture of him when he was awesome and looked in great shape in the 90s right. yes. not him now right um yeah yeah mm-hmm. that's exactly it yep uh cool and then what's your second question who is my protege that's probably gonna be me. Yeah. I can't yeah, do that. Better, better be. Can't you. do that. I can't do that. No, no I, I can't do that. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with you fighting a little baby cub. Oh, I like this. And I then like this. we'll move on to uh, trying to catch a chicken. Can we, and can then, we start, at what point do I get to a red panda? <laughs> we never, we never fight Ram Pandos. No, so like, I'll, I'll wrestle a bear, but I will not wrestle one of those little bastards. No, no. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> if, you, if you wrestle a red panda, I have to quit. No, no. You know what? Now, now you mentioned it. I do have a farm of red pandas over there. We can this sounds like a feed starter to me. <laughs> and, I will end go. you. There we go. Uh, cool. 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 All right. Uh, great. So we have everything established. Uh, we have some good... I think we have a good idea of the dynamic of your three characters. And so there are clearly going to be other wrestlers in this promotion, but you three are the stars, right? That's yes. why, you know, that's why you're playing... When you play the game, you are the stars of the show. Um, the... Uh, last little housekeeping thing is that on the back of your sheet, or the second page, where it says audience, there's a line that says uh, the, the veteran or the anti-hero, whatever your gimmick, starts and resets to uh, audience and then a number. You're just going to make a note or place a check next to that number on the little on the little ladder back here. So if it says plus one, it'll just check off next to that. And next to that, it says start the episode with plus one momentum in most cases. I believe the, the, this does not apply to the jobber, but you other guys. So go ahead and make a note that you have one momentum before we get started. Um, during the game, whenever you make a die roll, uh, after you make the roll and see how you did, you can choose to spend momentum to bump it up uh, by, that, by the amount that you spend. So it's a, it, and it, a lot of moves give you like give you give you a choice to, like gain a momentum or spend a momentum to do a thing that kind of stuff. So that's a a uh, session currency that will be coming up. And yeah, and that's all the all, that's all the character stuff. Are there any? Uh, yeah. What were my points for Burr and Jagoff? Uh, you should have one with Jagoff. And two with Aaron Burr. Got it. Got one with the Jagoff. <laughs> Canada's well, close to Pittsburgh, I think. You have the uh, the Toronto Pittsburgh connection. <laughs> Actually, kind of. <laughs> Run into a lot of Canadians down here. That can be your that can be your tag team. <sighs> Not saying, just saying. My my tag team partner is a mop. <laughs> um, cool. So I'm gonna take one. I'm gonna take like a couple minutes to make some notes about the card. So how this works at this point um, is that now that I have a sense of who the characters are. I'm going to go ahead and book the show, so I'm going to make some notes on the segments that I think will be entertaining to our imaginary viewing audience, <laughs> um, or not so imaginary in this case, actually. Uh, so I'm setting up some segments and matches, and I am booking now who I want to win the matches. You guys aren't going to have that information until some point during the match. Okay. However, there's stuff that you can do during the game that will give you the that will either uh, change the outcome of a match, just straight up, like, say, like, you know, you win regardless of what was booked or that kind of thing, or gives you the power to kind of describe how it's going to go, and that could overturn what I had booked. And 
what I do in that case is go with it and work it into what I had planned and make it look like that was the plan all along. <laughs> because this is a cooperative game, we're trying to make the most exciting show for everyone. Just uh, like WrestleMania 30. <laughs> <laughs> right. It is also maybe a comment on how I think wrestling works hmm. or should work in the best cases. Uh, yeah, so that's all to say. I'm going to take a couple minutes. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute myself and make some notes, and then we'll, we'll come back to the start of our show uh, in like two minutes. All right. Should we, should we like cut promos or something in the meantime? Go down! Yeah, actually, that would probably be really good. Um, I'm too busy fighting a bear to, to answer any of your questions. <laughs> Um, all right, all right. Well, let's do um, let's do guys. Let's let's kind of do a round. And you know how like on SmackDown they pop mm -hmm. up the guy talking about comp competing like as he's going to the ring kind of thing. Like why don't we cut that kind of promo to start with? Like kind yeah. of an introductory who I am promo, and I'm completely going to cut down a competition, boo -boo -boo -boo, you know, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Who wants to go first? Go ahead, Riz. Sure. Wrestle the bear. It. Off the cuff. I mean, I know you got a lot of stuff about the bear. Tell me. Yes. Who Who are you, and why are you badass, and why should I look out as, an, as a fellow competitor for you? I have the prodigy of all the fuzzy bottoms in the world. <laughs> they have given me the strength to wrestle and maim and kill a bear. Multiple bears. Even red pandas. So you want to get in the ring with me? Come on. It's good. Good. Josh? As Mr. Burr, as you will refer to me, I am the face of this imaginary internet wrestling federation, <laughs> and I will be respected as that. The IIWF is, in fact, the uh, <laughs> our, our promotion. I like it. I like this. <laughs> well, I'm writing that down. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, geez, I'm not going to try a Yinzer accent. Can we just put our... Um, 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 I didn't you know, try a Canadian accent. We'll, we'll, we'll put yeah, our okay. translation earmuffs on for all Yeah, that. yeah. What are they call uh, universal translators like in Star Trek and just mm -hmm. imagine all this in a Yinzer accent and speak. I'll try to... I don't know. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll kind of lean into it uh, throughout the night. But um, Okay. I'm Job. I'm just here to, for a paycheck. I'm just here for a paycheck. I'm here to do a good job, do a great job, do all the jobs, because I need a job. <laughs> because I've been laid off from the steel mill. I can't afford my pierogies. I just want to go home we see my kids, and that's probably a little too sympathetic. See my kids <laughs> and have anything with coleslaw and French fries on it. That is a good Friday night for me. But instead, I gotta do a job, all the jobs, for a job on this Friday night with these jagoffs out here. That's all I got. Is that it? That's, that's all I got right now. And then there's just a moment where the camera's still on you before they realize that you're that you're done. That yeah. then they cut. There's the awkward pause at the end. It just fades out. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I've been distracted by the light on the camera. Right. What's why is it red? <laughs> why is it red? Why is it blinking? <laughs> all right. Well, is it, you a Patriots fan? All right. Um, was, that, was that enough time? <laughs> good. Perfect. So with yeah, with uh, so with three people, you know, this is probably we're probably not going to go, you know, for a terribly long time. We'll we'll have a couple matches, kind of see how things fall out. Um, you know, just just have fun with it. You know, it's, it's just wrestling. Uh, I'll so I'll handle the mechanic stuff in terms of being like you're doing this thing, so now you make this role. Uh, so I'll be on top of that. Um, I will run down real quick the 
the things that, that trigger roles, the basic moves that you all can do and that all will come up for all of you. Cut a promo, which you just did to kind of warm up. We didn't do any mechanics with it, but we will going forward. Um, uh, and also, even though I've kind of booked the show, you there's always a mic available to you. So you can always grab the mic and speak your mind. I can never keep you from doing that. Uh, that Damn wonderful. right. <laughs> Don't you forget it. <coughs> so it's just um, like the podcast. I got it. Right, right. <laughs> we can't trick you. Uh, you can perform a feat of strength um, whenever you're demonstrating your extraordinary strength, which Fight goes over. from, you know, body slamming the giant to yes. in one uh, one great moment uh, in a game I had where a, a guy had a competitive eating gimmick and did a feat of strength to see uh, how many to eat a hundred hot dogs uh, <laughs> in a closet as a promo. It was pretty good. Um, whenever you expose the legit truth, uh, you're breaking kayfabe, and that can be uh, if you're if you're swerving, like if you want to change how a match is going, if you want to swerve the booking, or if you like expose some 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 backstage thing to the audience, that's breaking kayfabe. Uh, when you insult or praise the audience or their hometown, that's cheap heat. Uh, you can get your everyone can get cheap heat once per show, and that just gets you a momentum automatically. So I encourage you to go ahead and do that kind of at the soonest opportunity. Uh, as in, you know, right here in we'll be in uh, Poughkeepsie. Our show tonight will will be emanating from Poughkeepsie, New York. So right here in Poughkeepsie, like New York, cheap heat. Uh, you can work the audience and get get the audience on your side. And you can perform a run-in. This is both the I want to get my character involved in the storyline move, and it's also the as a player I am bored and I want to do something move. Um, so, whenever there's a match going on or something going on in the ring, you can you can declare that you're running in, and we'll go from there. Well, I got some great ideas for this. <laughs> right. So keep keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Uh, when we get into a wrestling match, I'll go over how that works specifically. It's very narrative. We're going to kind of describe the match and how it goes. And then there's a move that we roll to, to see how the control moves around during the match. And then in addition, one thing I want to highlight for you guys is that uh, the our heels have the heel move and our babyface has the babyface move. Um, and those, instead of rolling dice, you're going to spend two momentum, and then you just pick from some options. Uh, so that's a good thing to think about when you want to do a thing that matters, but it doesn't seem to fall into any of the other moves. Um, or if you specifically want one of the effects on that uh, underneath the move. Uh, I will also prompt you for those, like, oh, sounds like you're... The babyface move is when you're standing up for something you believe in or, you know, being a big a big good guy. The heel move is when you're when you're cheating or doing something underhanded to, to get what you want. Uh, so, yeah, you don't have to remember all those things. I was just doing the quick rundown uh, to give you a sense of the options and the baseline. It's wrestling. Do wrestling stuff. It'll matter, and we'll go from there. Uh, yeah. Are there any questions at this time? No. I'm good. Cool. Pretty good. Um, oh, I got a question. Yes. Is coleslaw a foreign object? Yes. It can uh, be. I, I can't imagine that it wouldn't be. Okay. I'm just glad we cleared the air. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm of course envisioning like a uh, a big plastic tub full of coleslaw. I'm not. Okay. Oh, cool. we'll question. See. Question. <laughs> yes. What if I pull favor with the referee by offering him coleslaw? I think it will depend on the context of the match. We'll see how it goes. It's certainly something you can do. I'm going to hit you with something if you do that in a match. Question, question for Chachi. <laughs> Will it be with coleslaw? No. Okay. All right, I'm done. I, I'm done. I will break, break character. Break character. 
All right. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started with tonight's show. Um, we're going to... Uh, our, our, our promotion, as we've determined, is the Imaginary Internet Wrestling Federation. So, welcome everyone. Welcome back to YouTube for our uh, live stream of the Imaginary <laughs> Internet Wrestling Federation. All of your favorites are here tonight. From, from Walter T. Fuzzy Bottom II, <laughs> all the way to Aaron Burr. By the way, I love how uh, it's Fuzzy Bottom II and not just Junior. You right. created the name. I know, I know. <laughs> keep it, that's really why. Smart. That's what he said. Uh, you know, we and we're very excited because we have a big show for you tonight, jam-packed to the gills with imaginary internet wrestling goodness. Because tonight we're gonna we are gonna discover who has the skills, who has the 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 the, the desire, and and who can uh, and who really is gonna make it to the top here. Because the winners of our matches tonight are the are those <clears throat> our matches tonight are to determine who's in the running for the inaugural, the very first Imaginary Internet Intercontinental Championship. That's right. The Triple I Championship <laughs> has be, is being debuted and we're going to find out the contenders tonight. All the continents. All of Every the continents. Continent. All the imaginary continents. This is the championship representing the best wrestler of all of them. Even you, San Fran Tokyo. <laughs> Especially you, <laughs> San Fran Tokyo. <laughs> While uh, the our, our wrestling federation is on the internet and uh, is imaginary, however, we do have real wrestlers, so we're coming to you from the VFW Hall here in Poughkeepsie, New York. <laughs> Many thanks. Big thanks to our to our sponsors, the uh, Anderson Towing Company. And uh, and 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 the the VF and the VFW Hall itself. We've gotten a great crowd here. Everyone loves seeing our imaginary internet wrestling stars here in Poughkeepsie. And with that, with no 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 further ado, we're gonna take you to some of the uh, some of the competitors who you will see grapple for your amusement tonight in pursuit of the imaginary internet intercontinental championship. So from there. We're going to cut to a, uh, a a camera shot, if you will. So this is all, you know, our our production budget is limited by our imagination, but also by uh, our VFW hall that we are uh, that we are having our show in. Uh, so we have, you know, the, the the kind of high angle camera on the ring, and there's a little stage set up behind it. This is all too real to me. <laughs> Sword's <laughs> favorite, just the one camera. Yep. Yeah. Just the one camera. Oh. Like if we do real well, we can get a second camera. All right. I'm is pretty, there a Sorg, I'm pretty sure we've filmed that show. Mm -hmm. I think I think we are currently filming this show, actually. Yes. I'm, like I'm just uh, I'm just just speaking from my own experience as well here. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so we're we're gonna go. Um, so we have the the angle shot on the ring, but we do have a you know there's someone running around backstage with uh, you know with their with their iPhone uh, to uh, periscope out these interviews <laughs> with the uh, with the talent backstage. Jesus, Corey Gray's back there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Corey Gray's. Um, so our our uh, there's no because because of the nature of the periscoping we don't ever really see who's holding the camera but the uh, the the Twitter handle is a uh, iiwf uh, uh, backstage underscore backstage um, and runs up to uh, Aaron Burr as you're coming I think maybe coming through. Uh, like the the exit door, like the rear entrance, having you know, with your bag over your shoulder or something like that, like having just having just arrived. Uh, so we're going to have a little interview here with Aaron Burr. Uh, Aaron, Aaron, 
Uh, yeah, what can I do for you? Did you? Um, <clears throat> I'm I'm sure you you've heard about the the this contendership uh, tournament tonight for the imaginary internet intercontinental belt. Are you going to be involved in that? I hope to be uh, as as the the face of the in imaginary internet wrestling federation. I should be the one to hold the prestigious triple I championship belt. Uh, However, I can't be too concerned with that, and here's where I'm going to use my cheap heat. Okay. Uh, because I was out spending a lovely day with all of the fine people at Poughkeepsie uh, before coming to the lovely VFW. All right, so take add one momentum to your current tally. Um, wait. Uh, so uh, you know, our, our interviewer voice is like... Uh, Oh yeah, yeah. This, it's a great town. We always love being here, but you know, there's some here. There's some here who's saying that that uh, we shouldn't even be having this this tournament because I mean, Walter T. Fuzzy Bottom the second, he's been here for a long time, and sh shouldn't he just get the belt <laughs> automatically? Walter T. Fuzzy Bottom Jr. has been coasting off his family name for far too long, and I'm gonna put an end to that. Ooh. Uh, cool. So go ahead, and you're you're you you've just told us what you thought on the mic. So you're cutting a promo. Uh, roll two d six. Whether you have the physical ones or I put yeah, I couldn't find where I put them. All right. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that is a two. Oh. <laughs> nice. What is your look score? Uh, zero? Yeah, so that does not help you. No, so <laughs> I just botched that promo. That is a botch. All right, good hot start, everyone. Ooh, I am All right, so, this show. Uh, cool, so what that means is you know, your your promo here does not does not connect with the audience. Um, <sighs> and I uh, make what's called a... Um, make what's called a hard move, which I have a list of things that are kind of like, here are kind of bad consequences for you because of your failure. Because <laughs> um, you suck. <laughs> oh, but I thought it was such a good promo. I mean, you were doing well. Yeah. You were doing well until you insulted Walter <laughs> the Bottom. Who yeah, is, that's what you get. Who, even though... I feel like he's he's in that space where he, even though you're you know like you're you're a heel you're you, you work heel you're a bad guy but people love love fuzzy bottom love that's fuzzy who they come to. they love they love the lineage of fuzzy bottom right well it's a lot of bear yeah so um goddamn bear is gonna be the death of me <laughs> uh cool so uh, uh so the um. So the guy says, "Well, it sounds like you're uh, much more. Sounds like you're you're much more interested in insulting the lineage of the Fuzzy Bottoms than in winning this uh, this championship." I I don't. And then there's like a as someone grabs the grabs the phone out of his hand to redirect the camera. Um, and it is the our uh, our, our owner owner operator, uh, general manager. Of the IIWC, C. Colton Craig, who is a a a uh, kind of like a like a like tall but skinny guy. His suit's always a little too large. Um, always in the, like and always dressed up like more than he really should be, considering that he's running the VFW hall. <laughs> uh, so he takes it and he's like, um, "You hear? You heard it here, folks." Uh, Aaron Bird, Aaron Bird is uh, cares more about insulting the the pillar of our company than this championship. I am hereby, uh, I'm hereby taking him out of the tournament. Oh, even though our first match, or and our first match tonight, will be what I know you want to see, Aaron Burr. Versus Walter T. Fuzzy Bottom. Mm. Get hyped. Stay hyped. Yeah. Get hyped. <sighs> don't get hyped. Stay hyped. So. Uh, 
yeah, I think we'll uh, cut that segment there. Uh, before we go to the next on-camera segment, uh, we'll have a little off-camera moment. So, so the so the segments, as I've been kind of indicating, can be on screen where they're going out to the audience and they all these moves trigger and stuff, or we'll have a short off-camera one um, where now we're you know just the, the 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 professionals, right? The people playing the wrestlers having a chance to to talk as as men do um, without having to be taping everyone. Um, so yeah, so the our feed cuts and Craig, who is the owner and does pay you guys, just goes, uh, you have to stop, you have to, <laughs> like you have to, you have to stop burying uh, Walter, man. Like he's, he's the one who puts the butts in the seats. I'm gonna poop in his gym bag. <laughs> But he'll know it was you. That's fine. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. <laughs> I'll put him over. It's okay. I'll put him over. He, right, he can better. go over. I'll okay. meet, I'll I'll even out job Job. <laughs> Ooh. It's like, well, we'll see about that. But uh, <laughs> it's like, all right, if you can, you put him over. I'm sure he'll be fine. But. And we got to figure out somewhere. We got to, got to figure out somewhere else for you to go with this uh, being being uh, pissed at the old guy angle. I don't know how much more juice we have in it, you know. Well, we could always do a career match. Okay, I'll that, definitely talk to him. But that'll put an end to the old guy. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, why, right. is the, why is the face like laughing like that? I don't know. It was just something I came up with. That's cool. He can be a jerk, not yeah. on camera. So yeah, I don't have to be nice right now. Well, the, the faces are usually the biggest assholes. So yeah, true. I mean, we have, we all know that. Uh, cool. So we'll cut that uh, cut that bit there, and go on out to. Uh, we're gonna go on out to uh, to our high angle shot of the of the um, ring, and uh, remind us, Walter, what does your entrance sound like and look like? It is solemn and dignified. All right. Is it is it the Canadian national anthem? <laughs> yes. Which I imagine is solemn and dignified. I actually don't know what it sounds like. Sorry. Sorry. It is dignified. <laughs> it's not really solemn. I yeah, mean, it's, it's, it means an upbeat. So maybe this is a version in a minor. Yeah, yeah minor like a, a darker, a darker uh, Canadian <laughs> national anthem. Nice. Uh, yeah. So your your entrance music hits. Uh, for you to come out onto the little little platform, and you come out with with mic in hand, uh, they're they're throwing you out there to go ahead and respond to to the announcement of the tournament and uh, what you've heard so far from Aaron Burr, who's been who's been running you down. You people need to show me some damn respect. My family has been in this business for 800 years. That's, that is longer than anybody here. And I have wrestled so many bears. By the way, this is where I'm going to do some cheap heat. Those bears look better than everyone in this place including Aaron. He wants to come out come out here come out here and talk about me, about me. That's why he's not in this match in the tournament. And that's why I'm going to break him in half and slam him over and over again 
just like I do with the bears. All right. So you take one momentum for your cheap heat, and then go ahead and roll plus look for your promo. Roll plus look? I don't know what that means. So roll 2d6. Yeah. Uh, either if you have dice or in the die roller that I linked you guys. Die roller. And then add your look score. I have... So my look score is zero. Okay. And it is six. Okay, cool. So you currently have two momentum, right? Correct. Okay, so a six is a botch, which is the same thing that <laughs> just happened to Aaron and his, and his bad news bears. <laughs> you can spend one momentum to make your six a seven, which will then be a mixed success, mm -hmm. which I would advise you to do uh, in, this, <laughs> in this case because avoiding botches is usually a good call. Okay, I'll do that. I'll, I'll get one, use my one momentum, make it a seven. Cool. So... You, they pay attention to your promo, so you can do one of one of the following. Uh, I don't know if you have the... the, the I do. But I'll read it also for, for people sure. playing along at home. Uh, so you can do one, the, one of the following things. You can make me book you in any match you want, or any match that makes sense. Hmm. You already know you're booked in this match with Aaron, so uh, you may want to do one of the other things. But that's a thing you can do with your promo. You can add a stipulation to a relevant match. So you could go ahead and add Ooh. a stip to this match you're about to have. You can gain the momentum, which would just gain the one that you spent back, and you end up even, but you succeeded instead of failed, which is never bad. Or you can gain one heat with Aaron, who is the subject of your promo, which would uh, boost that up to three, I believe. Yeah. Um, and I will note here that when you work a match with someone that you have four heat with, you gain an audience. Uh, you 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 know people people like to watch hot feuds basically, so. I'm gonna add some heat. Go and gain some heat. Yep. Sweet. Yeah. So you're, uh, which makes sense, right? Because you 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 know you you he he ran you down. You came back, responded. Told him he looked like a bear. Told him he looked like a bear. Ah. Like a bear, or like a shaved bear. Ah. Either way. Nice. Uh, yeah. So you get booed. You know, you get the, the requisite, uh, you're running down our town, cheap heat booze. Um, and uh, the, the crowd, they, they're, they've been here for maybe a little longer than they wanted to wait. There was a couple, there was a little delay getting everything set up. Uh, there's a long line because there's only one guy at the bar. <laughs> um, you know how it is. So they're, they're excited to see some, see some wrestling. So they, they're, they're making noise and jeering at you and stuff as you head down to the ring. And uh, that is when we will have Aaron Burr's entrance. Whatever that looks like. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, sorry. Uh, it, it's just uh, a simple metal, loud music, mm -hmm. um, strobe light, and I come out very solemn because, I mean, it's Aaron Burr. He's not a very happy fellow. We have, uh, very, we have a very solemn start to the But uh, um, he's a baby face, so I guess I have to try to pump up the audience a bit. Um, mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, do the typical, make some noise. <laughs> look at all look at all 35 people. Yeah. Uh, 35 people in this VFW. There are at least 40 people. All right. Uh, look at all 45 people that are in this. <laughs> cool. So uh, you're, you're just doing the, the get your hands up kind of yeah. Yeah. down to the ring. Cool. Yep. So, uh, you're working the audience. Uh you're you're pumping pumping them up to get them on get them on your side, get them into the match. So you are going to roll two d six and add your audience score. All right, so that's much better. It's a seven um, plus one is eight. Great. So they pop. They're like, you know, he just insulted us. We were nice to us earlier. We're excited to see some wrestling. Uh, so you go ahead and gain a momentum for the audience popping and getting on your side. And 
you will start off in control of the match. Okay. I'll explain how that works in a second. Uh, all right, we're going to have us a wrestling match. Wrestling. Uh, which means, so you guys are going to wrestle. Uh, Job, uh, or Mike in this case, as you are a person, um, you're going to be our ringside announcer or our commentary team oh, this for, for the match. <laughs> so um, generally, I'll be kind of uh, prompting uh, the, the flow of the match. These guys will be describing what they're doing to each other, and we'll build up to a big moment and roll some dice. Uh, over on commentary, you'll be filling in details uh, you know, for the viewing audience at home and uh, kind of making your own, putting your own spin on things. You also, the announcer, also has the power to put over someone in the match, which means that when they roll and do not get a 10+, plus, you can describe what they did as really awesome and bump them up a success band, so you can you can move them from botching to, to being okay, or being okay to that full success. Okay. So, and uh, the announcer is is a per match thing, so it depends on who's in the match. Someone who's not in the match is the announcer. Is the rule. So, yeah. Uh, quick overview of how the match works. Um, since we have uh, Aaron Byrne control, uh, Joshua will be. We'll start off by describing kind of the the general start to the match, uh, what you're doing. You can uh, describe what your opponent is doing, or you can kind of like prompt them to be like, you know, if I, you know, I'm Irish whipping you. What do you do to get back at me? That kind of thing. So you're going to describe a whole sequence um, okay. of moves leading up to a big spot. And then depending on the nature of what that big spot is, we'll roll dice, do one of the stats, depending on what's most appropriate. If it is a big power move, if it is a, a big high-flying move, if it's outside and, and you know, you're hitting someone with a chair or whatever it is. The result of that roll might move the control away uh, or not. And then we'll go from there. When you do not have control, you can interrupt at any time by spending one momentum and saying, Nope, I'm taking over, and uh, then you, you take the, the narrative control, and, and you get to uh, go from there. Or it can change as a result of the dice. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're working it together to describe a cool match, and then the, the die rolls will add a little uncertainty and move things around a little bit. So, yeah, how, how, how does uh, Aaron approach the, uh, the start of this match? All right. Well, as the uh, as the baby face, um, I get in the ring respectfully and wait for the bell to start um, mm -hmm. instead of taking the cheap shot. <laughs> um, so we'll go collar, elbow, tie up, headlock, um, hip toss. Cool. Basic basic start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Commentary, how does this how does this look from the sideline? I don't know about chins, but I think that uh, that tie up there by Aaron Burr was tighter than a can of corn. <laughs> my God. Side note, I have Pittsburghese.com on my screen just for a little bit of help. Very Why? good. Why? Why would you have that, Sorg? Because I gotta be in character. Right. Dedication. Very important. Dedication. <laughs> He's dedicated to the craft. Uh Cool. So you, you uh, hip toss. Um, what's uh, how how is the how's our veteran taking the taking this this beginning exchange? So just straightforward, getting into the match, or I roll out of the ring, call timeout, and and start walking back up the ramp, and then stop, and, and then stop, look over at her, and then still tries to exit the ring. Exit right. the arena. Cool. So, so uh, Chachi, you have control. So, how does how do you get him back in the ring? Um, I, you know what? Let, let's make this fun for the crowd. Um, as he's getting to the top, to the the top of the stage, um, someone in a bear costume <laughs> uh, comes out, which changes his mind drastically. And he decides to get back in the ring. 
come out of the crowd or come out like from the ramp? Like, from the ramp. Oh, okay. Because he's heading, be, he said he's heading back up the ramp. So right, right. bear costume comes out the curtain to meet him at the top of the ramp, mm. which uh, not only proves that he's a liar, which adds to his heel heat, but mm-hmm. makes him come back to the ring. Yeah. Right. Right on. Uh, cool. Um, do you like run back to the uh, run back to the ring? Or or is it more of a, a measured like all right, keep your distance, I'm moving back. Uh what was the question? <laughs> How do you get back to the ring? <laughs> oh, I run as fast as I can, which <laughs> as you probably can guess is not that fast. Hmm? He gets into the ring and then he goes right back out of the ring on the other side. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Commentary. Where's it? What's up with this bear? I know, I know bad chins, but I thought Fuzzy Bomb was gonna get out of here. Like, uh, like Kennywood was open, but he saw that bear. It's like realizing you got the uh, half off Cuba for Sandcastle in line for that Kennywood, and he went back in there like a, like a, like a slip and slide. And there's, there's, and 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 and, and the steel mill's closing. Damn it! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, damn it! Uh, I think I just had a Yenzer stroke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how do you get it? Where this this guy doesn't want to doesn't want to fight you in the ring, Aaron? Come on, what you do? What you doing? All right, um, I'm gonna slide out of the ring like a superstar. Yeah. And um, attack him as he's trying to run. Cool. Are you just gonna be? Put yeah, I'm just gonna on, give him give him a forearm shiver across the back. Yeah. Um. To let him know I'm there, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna use his. Uh, I'm assuming Harry back, um, and drag his ass back to the ring. Right on. Uh, cool. So it sounds like so this whole thing, you're you're kind of, uh, you know, you're you're showing that you have a uh, this brawling style. You're not gonna let him run away from you. It sounds like you're demonstrating your gimmick through your through this. Uh, through the sequence. So go ahead and roll plus look for the for the wrestling move. Yeah, that sucks. It's a four <laughs> plus zero. Um, um, so I'm going to go ahead and use all three of my momentum because I'm oh. not going to botch this again. <laughs> so in this, before you do that, just so you know, in this case, for a botch for, for when you're wrestling, mm-hmm. it means if he counters you, he's going to take one of your momentum and he'll gain control of the match. Uh, oh, then that's fine. But yeah. We can... That's fine. Yeah, it's not so much of the absolute uh, bonage of other okay. matches. Okay, then that's fine. I can live with that. that. I feel like you <laughs> might want that, that momentum for later also. So, Okay, cool. So, uh, uh, yeah, so we go to Walter. Yes. He's coming out to, to pull you back into the ring by your hairy back, but you get to counter him, and you take control of the match. How do you counter Aaron Burr's assault on you on the outside? Once he gets back, once I get back into the ring, I fake like I'm going back out the other side of the ring. And then when he slides back into the ring, I give him an elbow drop to the back, and then put him in a headlock. All right. So you gotta get him. You have him in a headlock on the still in the ring or on the outside? Uh, in the ring. In the ring. Cool. Right. And you gain one momentum, and Woo. Aaron Burr loses one momentum because of the because of the botch. Hey, you got him in a headlock. What do you want to do with him from from here? And the once he once you you uh, you know trick him and get that elbow on him, the crowd starts booing. Right, <laughs> like they they're excited to see you run away from the bear. They're getting ready to see a nice a nice solid beat down on you. And then uh, here you are with this rest hold right in the middle of the ring. Boo! I I bring him back up to up to base. Like but we're both standing now. And then I give him a little fish hook in the nose, just raise him up, and then just drag him back down again, and laughing at the crowd while doing it. <laughs> so you're just you're just keeping him grounded and and doing mm-hmm. things to him. Yes. Nice. Uh, all right. Uh, I, how's this look on uh, commentary? What, what, so so he faked him uh, he, he faked him out and he's got him in a, a, a headlock and gave him the fish hook right yeah. yes okay okay 
I'm about you, but that fuzzy, he's got a good good head on his shoulders. He's smarter than my uh, last uh, my last manager at the old steel mill. God rest his soul. Uh, that fish hook, that fish look hook looked better than uh, than than one of the pro bass fishers out of the Allegheny right there. <laughs> Back to you, Myron. <laughs> No, do you have a name? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's Myron now. Apparently, Myron it, it is. It yeah. could be not Myron. Like you're probably Bill, but I'm gonna keep calling you Myron because that's the only that's Myron Cope was like the only announcer I know or something. Myron, it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. So my, Myron, your commentary uh, partner, he's like a uh, well, Walter G. Fuzzy Bottom the second is. He's just keeping. He's demonstrating his his uh, ring generalship here. He's keeping Aaron Burr off off of his vertical base and just using his superior wiles to keep the younger man down. I I don't know. I don't I don't know what the chances are for for young Burr to come back against a veteran of this of this sophistication. You're right about that, Meyer. He's so much of a ring general. They should have a fort named after him. Ah, nice. That's good. All right. Uh, let's have. Let's have uh, Walter go ahead and roll plus look as well as you're you're kind of demonstrating oh, your. Look. So uh, here we go. Wait a minute. Did that roll? Here we go. One. Wait a minute. There we go. Two. So it is an eleven. All right. Plus zero equals Walker. look. So Eleven, sweet. So yeah, you are uh, doing all of the the classic heel uh, slowing it down, killing the pace things, and the crowd is really getting into it and booing the shit out of you. So you retain control. Yep. And you pick one. You can gain two momentum. Okay. Or you can gain another heat with Aaron. With Aaron Burr. Mm. I'm gonna get two momentum. All right. So that brings me up to four, I believe. Mm-hmm. Think so. Cool. So, what do you do now? You've you've ground him down. You've isolated him, but uh, you know, you can't can't keep him in a headlock forever. Uh, what's what's next? <laughs> I, I don't know. Back, I might try. <laughs> I pull him back up by his stupid little hair, mm-hmm. and then I throw him into the corner and start pounding on him. Like just start throwing body blows to jabs to elbows, maybe a few knees. That I learned, you know, fighting some bears, mm-hmm. um, and and then just throw them down to the ground, and then just pose on the bottom rope. Nice. Uh, so you throw them down and pose. Mm-hmm. Which is great. Uh, how do you? How are you uh, taking all these hits, Aaron? Are you? Are you selling? Are you? Oh, I'm selling the hell out of it. Sweet. No, I'm <laughs> s- I'll sell the hell out of it. I said I would. I'd put them over. So. Mm-hmm. Selling the hell out of it. Nice. I'm writhing. I'm grabbing my affected areas. <laughs> grabbing your affected areas. Yep. Cool. All right. Um. What happens uh, when you're doing the pose? Are you giving him a chance? So you can, you, you know, you can have him come back at you and stuff like that, even when you still. Have- Narrative control because if you want to put yourself in a spot or, or oh of, of course I'm 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 singing the the Canadian national anthem oh of course in French in French of course mm-hmm. uh, having uh, Aaron recover from all those blows I gave him uh, he gets up and tries to and pulls me back down. Yeah, you're gonna let him get get some shit in. Sure. Get some shit in. All right. Um. Well, if I if I pull you down from the bottom rope, then I'm going to uh slam your head into the top turnbuckle. Mm-hmm. Uh, since you're already facing that way, mm-hmm. and I will go for a um. Um, you know what, let's go for a roll up I'll, I'll roll you up in, from the corner <clears throat> it's going for the flash flash pin yeah, yeah. <clears throat> alright well so though we kind of already telegraphed it but first of all the uh, 
the booking of the match is for uh, Walter to win. So right. your roll up is not going to pin him. Right. Um, but yeah, so it's up to up to Walter how he how he gets out. Do you just do a, a kick out, or do you get out in some more uh, my my exciting way? I use the ropes for some leverage since we're close to the ropes. Oh yeah, yeah. And push myself and roll him and reverse the roll up. Nice. Uh, cool. <laughs> Let's go ahead and um, well, first of all, on commentary, uh, like the, the you know the looks like the referee's out of position, doesn't see Walter's feet on the rope there, and it's letting him power out of that roll up attempt. He is. He, he sure knows his way around this ring. He does, he does. He knows them just like the Three Rivers, just like boating on the Three Rivers, just like Bruce Willis and Striking Distance. I tell you what, it looked like that was just about it for uh, for uh, for uh, our 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 cocky Burr. hero here. But like Aaron Burr sure is in trouble. Yes, he is, Myron. Uh... <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and we'll we'll wrap this up pretty in a, in a second here. But I think you know you're you're doing a uh, an actual wrestling -y thing. So let's go ahead and roll plus work for the wrestling move. The uh, how well this pin reversal goes. All right, here we go. So it's me, right? Yes. Yeah. So that's a six plus work. That turns into a seven. All right, cool. So you can. Uh, Retain control and and uh, keep on going with this, or you can go ahead and give uh, Aaron Burr control, and you gain another momentum. I will give Burr the moment the uh, the control. Cool. So we'll go ahead and uh, the ref ref call calls calls for the go home to go into our finish here. So Aaron Burr, how do we get to uh, to you getting pinned? To lose this match. All right, so I kick out, um, which makes it seem like I have the energy and mm. uh, the momentum in the match. So we'll do a a, a, a beat down um, into a, a, a crowd taunt, a, a crowd uh, pump up. Mm. Um, motion for a finisher into a, a straight up reverse into Fuzzy Bottoms finisher. Right on. What is uh, what is Fuzzy Bottoms finisher? Do you have to ask hug. that? Do you have <laughs> yes. to ask that? It's gonna be a bear hug. It's gonna be a bear hug. That would be a bear hug, right? Yes. Yeah. Cool. So what's so what's Aaron Burr's uh uh finisher that he's calling for that involves him just jumping into the air in order to get a bear hug. I'm going to call it the declaration <laughs> and it's going to be essentially a, a, a hurricane runner. Nice. Yeah, so you, you launch yourself uh, right into right into the bear hug. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, it looks like uh, Aaron's getting, a, getting his win back. He's, he's getting the crowd into this. They're, they, they're, looks like they're getting behind him and, uh, oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> it looks like they're in trouble now. She wants to sell my monkey, Michael, Michael, motorcycle. Look out, Loretta. He is handing out body checks like it's the first of the month. Wow. Oh, wow. You're wow. hired. <laughs> cool. So, yeah, you, you launch yourself. Um... Go ahead and roll. We'll we'll get one last thing in for you. Go ahead and, and uh, roll plus heat for the wrestling move because you're kind of working together in this to, to make this uh, counter sequence really really sing. Uh, eight plus three is eleven. Nice. So the <laughs> counter sequence looks fucking great, even though you're gonna lose, which is fine. That, that, that's fine. So uh, yeah, you go ahead and you can gain two momentum or you can gain a heat with uh, with uh, Walter here. Let's see. You know, let's do uh, heat. I'm not. I'm not selfish. Mm -hmm. um, so that'll give us an audience. Nice. Uh, cool. So you leaps into the hug. That whole sequence looks awesome. Go ahead and roll for the veteran's finishing move. 
which is just rolled two d six with no with no bonus. No with bonus. Stats. I rolled an eight. So if you want, you could spend two to make it a ten. And here's the the difference. Um, so on an eight, they make you work for it a bit. Uh, you either use your fet- veteran skills to force the win and gain a, another heat with them, or you let them look strong in defeat and they gain an audience. So Ooh. you're kind of putting them over a little bit, even though you're winning the match. On a ten, you hit a clean and you choose whether you gain an audience or they gain an audience. The Ooh, veteran gets to spread it around if they want to. So if I keep it at an 8, it's by chance. Uh, if you keep it at an 8, you choose whether you gain a heat with them or you give or you give him an audience. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to keep it at an 8. Okay. And... I'm going to work for it a little bit. Make him work for it? Make him work for it. All right. Um, or they make you work for it a little bit, yeah. which yeah. I think which makes sense with this. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so, he, jumped, so yeah, he jumps into your, into your arms, but, uh, you know, Aaron, Aaron Burr is not going to go down without a total fight. What, what, what of your veteran skills do you use to, to really cinch this, this win in and make it look really good? Mm. Do you use a little a little trick that you know? Do you? Uh... Um, when I feel like he's getting a little momentum going, mm-hmm. I knee him into the into the midsection okay. away from the referee. Okay. So you give him a little yeah. So he, he he comes at you out of his finisher. You block it. He goes back. He's making you work for it. So you just give him the knee in the gut mm-hmm. behind the referee's back, and then. Into the bear hug. Correct. Sweet. Uh, yeah, and so, uh, you know, there's a moment of... There's the, the rest coming over and, and checking uh, and does the uh, does the hand raise, right? Like one, mm-hmm. two, and his, his arms are draped over your shoulders as you have him the bear hug. You give him the last little, little uh, squeeze and then he lifts his hand for the last time. And three, they ring the bell. Winner of this match by submission is the 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 Canadian legend Walter T. Fuzzy Bottom the second. Dun dun dun. Awesome. And you're getting you're 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 getting all the all the booze you can handle because they really yes. thought that uh, he had it there at, at the end. There, they thought Aaron Burr was making that comeback, but. Couldn't stand up to your wiles. Uh, <laughs> how's this look on commentary? Walter Walter wins. Yoy and double yoy. They look like the Cleveland or the Cleveland Bungles out there. Cincinnati, C- Cincinnati. I know Cincinnati. I was going the wrong way and I just leaned into it. That's all right. I can be wrong. It's okay. Sweet. Uh, I don't even know what country Poughkeepsie's in right now. So. <laughs> you have a friend that lives in New Poughkeepsie, by the way. No, I do, but yeah. I'm saying that oh, Job uh, doesn't. Oh, Job. Okay. I'm in character. He's, ad- he's identifying with his character. Yes. Okay. What? Uh. Okay. So, did either of you get to four audience with the other? No. Or we got the four heat. We got four, four heat. heat. I mean. Yeah. I think we both did, didn't we? Yeah. All right. Awesome. Yeah, you guys uh, managed to to build that up real great. So, because you worked. Uh. Because you worked a match with someone you have four heat with, you each gain an audience. Yay. The crowd wants to see more of this. They think Aaron Burr, Walter T. Fuzzy Bottom II is a compelling feud, my friends. And they want to see more. Oh, man. We should have a bear on a pole match. Yes. A bear on a pole career versus career loser <laughs> goes back to Canada match. <laughs> or a loser just goes to Canada. Yeah, a loser goes to Canada. A loser goes to Canada. Oh, poor Canada. Loser eats poutine. Mm-hmm. Hey, that is delicious. Alright. Cool, you have a raise your hand. Uh, 
You uh, do you have anything on your way out of the ring, or are you just gonna go go back stage and get your towel? I grab the mic. Yeah, do it. I step on the chest of one Aaron Bird mm-hmm. and start again singing the Canadian national anthem <laughs> in both French and English. Mm-hmm. You're just like going, like you just keep going on and on. Yeah, and then oh, and then after a while, the, the the security guys they they come in mm-hmm. and just force me, like just start pushing me out of the ring. Yeah, the yeah, they they end up cutting you off. Yeah, they cut my mic, mm-hmm. even though there's only forty people there. <laughs> I'm singing at the top of my lungs mm-hmm. as I exit. They can still hear you. <laughs> yes. Nice. Yeah, you're just getting getting booed and booed. I think they, they cut you off when they notice that people have kind of stopped booing and are just going back to get more beer. <laughs> like, okay, exactly. keep moving along, keep moving along. Nice. Uh, yeah, and then the, 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 the ref helps. Uh, once you're out of the ring, the ref helps Aaron up, helps him out of the ring. You know, you've gotten your breath back, heading backstage. Excuse me. And I think that's when... Uh, when you when you bump shoulders with one of our competitors who's coming up for our next match, who is, of course, Job the Jagoff, finally making his in-ring, in ring in gimmick appearance in the imaginary internet wrestling federation. <laughs> okay, who'd I bump into? Sorry. Uh, Aaron. I like bumped into Aaron. Out. I just saw that match. He's he's whatever <laughs> reacting to that. Okay. Um. Wait, so I bumped them out back. How much time has passed since we were out in the ring? Uh, so Cut I think like you, you went back like before the singing started. Right? Oh, and um, we're talking about the Canadian National Anthem, so I had a good like seven minutes. Right. Uh, so he bumps into me, hmm. and I drop my permani sandwich. Oh, so oh, good. Bitch. Oh, damn it. And he says, hey. Oh, I think I'm getting the wrong accent, but uh, I'm like, hey, hey, what's your problem, buddy? Oh, I don't even apologize. I just kicked the sandwich. Hey, <laughs> hey, no, I'm sorry. I just got, I just lost, and I just got humiliated. That, I give, I gives no shits about your sandwich. That was a perfectly adequate pastrami sandwich, coleslaw and fries on it, sir. I spit on the sandwich. <laughs> Oh. You spit on my heritage? I did. Hey, <laughs> even even a good guy can have a bad day, right? Mm-hmm. So the ref the ref's just like who's who's still supporting Aaron on getting off off the <laughs> platform. Just like Don't drop it. Go do your match. Like, <laughs> pushes you apart. You're lucky I have a job to do. I'm not gonna lose this one. <laughs> Again. 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 All right. Uh, yeah. So, what is your your entrance again? Um, I wrote down cartwheels. Nice. <laughs> cartwheel out. No music. Um, can we be? Can it be the here the the um oh, the here we go song. Uh, the here we go. Like it's the Here We Go Steelers song, but from way back in rest, uh, or from Super Bowl like Thirty. No, no, no uh, oh, early nineties, uh, where we're talking about oh. um um uh, uh why can't I remember his name, coach with the mustache, Caller. Um, Caller. We're yeah. talking about Bill. It, calls, it talks about Bill Caller. It talks about like like uh, Cordell Stewart, and and it's the nineties version going to like Super Bowl Thirty, the one we lost to the Cowboys, um, because I won't let it die. Sure, sure. Okay, and cartwheels. Nice. And Terrible Tau, mm. you know, in Poughkeepsie, New York. Right. And I don't understand why nobody else is singing along to this. Mm-hmm. I feel like that should be a rule for power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do I have too many things? No, I think that, I mean, that's just your entrance. That's fine. And I got, and I got to say, I don't know if I have to rule for this, but I'm not good at cartwheels, but I try damn hard. You tried damn hard. Well, yes. uh, they no, said was... add, they said add pizzazz to my entrance, mm. or I wouldn't get paid. And this was my interpretation. 
Mm. You're like the Gilberg. <laughs> I mean, I think really all it is is, is cheap heat because people are just <laughs> losing their shit. Like, why? Why are you cartwheeling? We did. We we're here to see. We're here to see professional wrestling. What is this? What is this? So, uh, you uh, yeah. So you, you finish up your cartwheels. Um, people are are basically laughing at you. <laughs> like, let's let's be serious. Uh, but All they're right. paying attention, which okay. is important. Can I grab the mic? Yeah. All right, listen, listen. I'm here. I'm here to do a job. My name is Job. Yin's guys. What do you say they're laughing? Oh, yeah. Yin's guys. I don't know what you're laughing at. This is a serious, serious business. I am a serious, serious competitor. <laughs> Mind her, I look like a Yin's or Brooklyn brawler. Listen, listen. There was there are more people in here. I got handed to you. There's a good crowd. There's more people in here than my steel mills last company wide picnic. It's been a tough couple of years, no, but no one here knows what real work is and what what kind of industry industry what kind of industry is here in Poughkeepsie, New York? Like, what do you have here? I I, there's a bakery on the way in. I don't. I don't even know what you have here. There's a Toys R Us. I. You know. There's no steel mills. There's no smoke plumes reaching for the sky and and Myron Cope above. There's none of that stuff. She'd love doing real town like Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go ahead and take one momentum for your cheap heat. Uh, sure. And then. Uh, Go ahead and uh, roll 2d6 and add your terrible look score. And see how your promo goes for you. <laughs> Rolls a 5. Oh. And, oh I add, and I add what? Look? You have yeah. look. <laughs> Negative 2. Yep. So that's a 3. Mm -hmm. uh, so you uh, kind of sputter out. as You know, you're, you're, you're cutting this promo and you're yelling at them about not having any industry and and uh, so many were, years, so many years of the coke plant, my lungs have uh, disintegrated. Well, they they were laughing at you when you came out, but but as you as they realized that you were just gonna keep on insulting them, uh, people went to get more beer. So half the half the crowd is kind of pushed to the back, um, and everyone's just kind of like checking their phones and like, oh yeah, it's a cool down match, you know. It's uh. Not a great showing for the Yins or man, Aaron. We're doing an awesome job compared to compared to Job. Yeah, sure. Are. High five. Yeah. I, mu I muttered myself just like Super Bowl Thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Super Bowl Thirty. Uh, so that is when uh, from behind you, you hear, uh, "Hey, hey." Will you stop running your mouth and just get in that damn ring already? You say you want to do a job. Well, I want to get paid too. Come on, let's do this. And coming up behind you is a local local talent uh, who you you met briefly backstage. He goes by the name of Bash Hammer. He wears a, a construction overalls and he actually comes out with a with like a yellow hard hat and he you know throws it down on the ground outside the ring. I want to say I initially respect him because he looks like a blue collar worker. He does. Initially. Right. He's like, uh, like, if you don't, it's like if you don't want to be here, then you can just go back to your dirty, smog-filled steel-making excuse for a post-industrial wasteland. Here in Poughkeepsie, we respect people who fight. And that's when you know people in the crowd uh, get a little more excited. He has, you know, there's like he brought some family, so there's some people already going like bash, bash, bash. Uh, and he sold 15 of the 40 tickets. <laughs> right, right. Um, but uh, yeah, so he's he, he's like get in the ring and let's fight. Who, uh, who who wants to be the announcer for this match? This Bash Hammer versus Job the Jagoff. Bruce can do it. Yeah. Sweet. 
you could both be on commentary if you wanted to, uh, if you want to have some interplay. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. Go ahead, Riz. <laughs> Very good. Um, I'm back. Cool. So, uh, due to your uh, due to your botch, um, we're going to go ahead and start with Bash in control of this match. So oh. he uh, throws his throws his helmet down, uh, gets into the ring, is just like ring the bell, ring the goddamn bell, and they ring it, and uh, he starts off just charges at you does like the push shove across the ring into the corner and just starts giving you the shoulder blocks into the into your sternum. Um, he's actually shorter than you, but probably outweighs you by like thirty pounds. Mm, low you center know. of gravity, I see. Yeah, he's a he's a meatloaf of a man. Meatloaf. Yum. Like the singer? <laughs> no, like like the lump of meat. <laughs> oh. Uh so yeah, he's giving you these shoulder blocks in the corner and then uh, pulls you out for Irish whip you across into the opposite corner and then uh, runs across just to do like the, the, the little jump splash. Um, and he's giving you a little little more than he probably really needs to. He's, you know, this is his first, uh, this is his, his first gig with this company. He's trying to show off a little bit, it seems like. Oh, how's my reel on this? <laughs> oh, I'm a negative one. Um, <laughs> as a as a character, is is it is it internal motivation? Can I like aim to fail as a wrestler? <laughs> like, as a like 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 throw the like make it a shitty match? Yeah, like 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 knowing if I go this way, I know it'll probably be ridiculous and bad for me. But mm-hmm. that's kind of the point. Yeah, you can yeah you can aim for that. Okay. Okay. Play, play however you want to see it play out. Um, yeah. What's your yeah? What's your reaction? Are you just so like, my reaction and and it can be kind of like a between me and him interaction, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So my interaction is 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 because I just love this line. He's like, "Hey man, do I owe you rent or something? <laughs> because I already owe somebody rent." <laughs> and I kind of and I kind of shove him off and uh-huh. try to make some get some room. Nice. Yeah. So you uh, you pushed him off. Um, he he staggers back a little bit, um, and uh, yeah, he's going to go go ahead and and give you give you a little give you a, a, an opening to get some of your shit in. So I'm I'm going to turn control of the match over to you. See what you want to do with it. Okay. Okay. So he gave me some distance. So I'm going to run at him with a clothesline. Hmm. Uh, imagine I hit him with the clothesline, yeah. and the uh, uh, crowd's already kind of worked up, so I kind of, uh, I don't know, I give him some of these, uh, you know, you know <laughs> the arm, what do you call this? The, uh, you know, the Polish FU, I guess. Um, and, uh, you know, try to work them up a little bit. Uh, I jelly stomp the guy. I give him, I give him, I give him that, like, Ronnie Garvin stomp, mm-hmm. but... I get tired like halfway through, um, and then uh, and then I, and I pick him up and uh, try to put him in a headlock so I can take a breather. <laughs> nice, uh, cool. I think go ahead and uh, uh, go ahead and roll plus work. You're kind of you know getting the match off to a good foot. Doing. I'm trying to do a good job. Trying to do a good job. So roll two d six and add your work score. It gives me a six plus one, seven. All right, perfect. You, it all looks pretty good. You can retain control and continue going with what you want, or you can give control back to me and gain a momentum. Um. If you're planning to do something on a bad score, you might want to build up some momentum to, to give. It okay, okay. Momentum. I'm gonna hand it over to you and see where this goes. All right. Uh, cool. Over on uh, commentary, how is this looking to our, to our. Uh, our, our our current commentator. I'm just talking about bears with in French in a French accent, nice. in a French like language. <laughs> Does it sound positive? Yes. Okay. All right. Very Context. Good. Uh, cool. So, yeah, and so just just as a, like a side note, um, you can do commentary as your wrestling character, or you could 
do like a commentary character if you wanted to 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 change it up as well. It's kind of the game's kind of agnostic as to as to which uh, way you go. I have one friend who always does Jesse Ventura, like he does a great Black man. He does a great Jesse impression, and so when he's on commentary, he's he is Jesse Ventura, which is hilarious. Uh, so yeah, if you wanted to to you don't have to be bound by your wrestler if you wanted to do something else on commentary. Um, that said, yeah, you, you get him in the headlock, bashes in the headlock, and um, he uh, starts doing the, the, the foot stomp to get the, the crowd like clapping along with him. His, uh, his, his, his uncle and his nephew are clapping along with him. They're, they're, they're with the, the homemade, like the iron-on shirts, the iron-on letters that say, like, <laughs> like uh, uh, bash rules or something, like something really lame. Again, I think we've been at this show before. <laughs> so they're clapping along with him. He's doing the foot stomp, and he's, he's fighting, fighting to his feet, uh, turns around, um, pulls, you know, manages to, to, to pull your hands apart and get out of the headlock, and then he gets you into a test of strength, uh, it's a, the, the, the knuckle the knuckle lock and test of strength with you in the middle of the ring. Are you a strong guy? Like, do you... What's your... Uh, does, it, does it seem like you would succeed a test of strength? Um, you said he's shorter than me? He's shorter, but, like, pretty stocky. I think I have, like, kind of, like, farmer strength. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm taller. feeling... Like, 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 I mean, think of me, like, I'm an average, like, dude's got muscles, mm -hmm. like, enough, you know, that mm -hmm. he goes to the bar and might want to challenge somebody to an arm wrestling, but dude's got a beer gut, you know what I right, mean? Right. Like, 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 I lift things all day, but yeah. I don't sit on an exercise ball all day and work on my inner core, you know what right. I mean? <laughs> Unlike some of us. Unlike some of us. Right. Uh, yeah, so you, so he, he starts uh, with the test of strength and gets up, and then you, you manage to pull, pull it over. And then he starts getting it back, and that's when you uh, give him the, the 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 kick to the the kick to the knee, you know, a little bad guy uh, mm -hmm. kick to the knee to break up the moment. And the ref, you know, comes over and starts putting his hands between you, and you release and both stagger back to opposite sides of the ring. And that's when he comes back at you with a with a clothesline. You do a couple run clothesline, run clothesline, and then uh, he. When you're running back, he goes up to the second rope to do his uh, his 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 jumping. Uh, he does like a, a, a like a second rope springing punch thing that he calls the uh, 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 what's a what's a dumb they calls the Earth Mover. <laughs> what's a dumb name? Yeah, yeah. So he springs off the second rope with the Earth Mover, where he's just punching his his. Uh, Kind of like a, a punch right into your neck, taking you down. Uh, and then I think I'll go back over to you. How do you? Uh, are you going to let him beat you up a little bit, or? Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to let this guy shine. He's a he's the hometown guy. I got to make sure. Um... Oh no! Yeah, no. No, yeah, I'm going to let him shine. Yeah, so he's going to hit me with his earth mover. Yep. Um, and then he uh, 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 gets me up in a kind of neck breaker he calls the jib crane for some ungodly reason. <laughs> sure. What's um, another machine? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he, he, he does this... Um, he's totally kinda... the guy that shouts the name of the move when he's doing it. Oh, yeah, like so anime like, stuff. Earth mover! Jib crane! He pulls you up. Uh, and he's got one, he yells, backhoe! Mm-hmm. <laughs> And I, I've gotten up at this point. He's let me get up, and it's kind of like a super kick, but it's not a super kick. It's more like a mule kick. Mm -hmm. Like he's back to me, and kind of like he's his, like his a back. He's a back yeah. kick, and like he's kind of straightened out, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it looks absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> and and he wasn't trained well, so it's not crisp at all. Right. It just looks like he's pushing his limbs into you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he doesn't get his like. It, it, you feel like it's something that should kick me in the stomach, but mm -hmm. it kicks me in the knee. Yeah. But I'm trying to make him look good in front of his family, so I still sell my stomach. <laughs> nice. Because he uh, explained it to me in advance. Right. While I was eating my permani, so I was only half paying attention, to be quite honest. Sure. Um, but you're just yeah. going with it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 
Go ahead and uh, go ahead and roll plus work to to try and try and salvage as much of this guy's uh, work rate as as you can. I got a five plus one, so that's a six. All right, so uh, that's a counter unless you want to spend one momentum to make that a seven. Uh, and uh, again, you can keep control or you can give it back to me. So you can spend one to get to. You can you can end up even in this situation where you spend a momentum so that it's a so it looks good instead of being a botch and then you get the momentum back. Let's give some to the kid. Let's give let's give one to look good. All right. Cool. So that spends my momentum, right? Uh, yeah. You'll spend one, but then mm-hmm. you, uh, but but then you get it back unless you want to retain control. Um, control as in I'm in control of what's happening, yeah. or I'm like on on the like move control side. On the on the move control side of, of and yeah, and then the, the narrational control. Um, let me let me keep control. Okay, cool. So yeah, so you'll spend one momentum, and you are still in control of the match. Mm-hmm. That's how that works out. Okay. So uh, now, cool. so, I'm, so, so, so now, you make him look pretty good. Okay, I just want to be clear. So now I'm, I I spent my momentum. I'm back to zero for momentum. Yes. All right. Okay. Correct. So, so uh, sorry. Go ahead. All right. So you're still in control of the match. Uh, I think, but you make him look good. Um, you know, as good as 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 it can. The crowd is is his. Uh, a couple people who aren't related to him are starting to chant chant bash. Um. So I think we'll we'll go ahead and get into our finish here. Because you were a jobber to the stars, you do not count as a jobber in this situation. You're actually booked to win this match. Oh. Okay. So you can go ahead and, and turn this into get us to, to however you want to win. Instead of doing your do the job move, you use one of the finishing moves from one of the other characters that's being played. So you can use the veterans or the anti heroes finishing move. Which was like so like the bear hug or what was the other one? There was like a Karana. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to literally be the move that the character does, but you'll be rolling. It can be if you want, if you want that to be your thing. You um, know what? I liked I liked uh, the cut of that uh, that that Canucks jib earlier, so mm-hmm. I'm gonna go for the bear hug. Nice. Um, but can I get there in a dirty way? Yeah. How do you get to the to to the bear hug? Okay, what? So he just kicked me. So he just kicked you. You're selling quote the in the gut. Yeah. I'm selling. I got kicked in the gut. Yeah. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out how to spin this. Cool. Um, well, what, very... how does this look on commentary? Is are we still yeah. talking about bears or? Is, no, uh... I just got back from the uh, beer line. Did I miss anything? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it looks like uh, the hometown hero here, Bash, is is is, is picking up ahead of steam. Um, yeah, his 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 uh, family over there. Uh, they're really into it. Too you know, bad nobody else they is. Have. Maybe we should talk to them about our merch, huh? Eh? Uh, eh? No. <laughs> My merch is is selling off the charts. We don't need any of that. All right. I mean, I do that this. as it may. Looks like uh, the 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 Jagov maybe. I, I I don't know if he's really hurt or if he's just playing possum to get Bush to get Bush to get Bash right where he wants him. All right, so so Bash is is selling to his family there on the one side, mm-hmm. um, and when he's looking and the rest kind of moshing him because he's pay, not paying attention to the ring, he's over on the ropes or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. So I pull a can of Iron City beer out of my pocket and take Ooh. a big swig, one for me, and then I take another swig, right? And uh, and another for me. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. And then uh, uh, the refs, uh, I don't know, maybe maybe one of his family got a little out of the hand and they're, they're ready to jump the bear, so the ref's still distracted. Uh, Bash comes around, and I give him a spray, like like uh, Buddha, Buddha Mist style, mm-hmm. except I'm not good at the mist at mm-hmm. all. So it's just kind of like, like, just I'm, just like gonna, a I'm just going to spit on him, right? Yeah. Um, so, and, 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 but, but he sells it. Mm-hmm. You know, he sells I it. I got spit in my beer. And I got wrench in. I don't know how you can tell. I wrench in to the bear hug, and I'm yelling pierogies. <laughs> and that's it. Cool. Yeah, you get him in the... He's, he's blinded by your beer spray. The ref turns around just too late, you know, just sees him uh, yelling as, you ha- as you're yelling pierogies, and you have him the bear hug. 
and uh, he, he he slumps over. Uh, he doesn't give you the full thing. He just like slumps over. He's like, uh, mm-hmm. finish this. Mm-hmm. So, because you're the jobber to the stars, you're going to go ahead and roll on. Sounds like you're going to go ahead and roll on the veteran's uh, finishing move. Mm-hmm. Sweet. So roll two d six with no stat. Who the uh, sword? Me. Or? Me. Uh, sword does yeah. Yeah. That's a hot six right there. <laughs> All right, and you're What's out of uh, momentum, this? huh? Uh, yeah, I'm out of momentum. Uh, okay, so in this case, if uh, we want to, our announcer can put you over on this and turn your botch into a into a mixed success. Or you can choose not to and just let let the jobber botch on the one time he gets to roll a finishing move. It's up to you. This at this point. Uh... Fuzzy Bottom is up on the table. I mean, he has scream- stolen your finishing move. So he he is screaming at the top of his lungs in a very excited manner. That's my move! Over and over again during the match, interrupting anything the other guy says. Nice. But, ah! <laughs> That's my move! But he That's seems my to- move! That's my move! I think- That's uh, my move! Sir... <laughs> So, like he's awesome. spilling so beer everywhere, just over. throwing it down, spiking it. <laughs> nice. All right, so uh, you can. So. <laughs> I mean, that, that's a good thing, by the way. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, you're putting it over. It's great. So, uh, so Joe, you get to choose. Um, either you gain a heat with Bash Hammer out of him, uh, you know, making make you work for it a little bit. Or you make him look strong in front of his hometown audience, and he gains an audience. Um, I've been a team player this whole time, because I know how to do the job, mm-hmm. and uh, I want to make him look good in front of in front of his uh, uh, hot mama mm-hmm. that has all her teeth. <laughs> and uh, yeah, give it to the kid. Nice. All right, so they uh, ring. You know, he he the the ref checks on him, then motions to ring the bell. Winner of this match, again, by submission, with the bear hug, is Job the Jagoff. And, like, he slumps over, and his, uh, excuse me, uh, and his nephew, who's, like, 20, jumps, the, jumps uh, well, there's no barricade, just jumps over the folding chair in front of him, and uh, comes yeah. over, he's like, bash! Like, comes over to, like, you know, check on him. Um, and uh, you know the ref is standing in between you, so you don't interfere. And the the crowd's kind of um, clapping along with him as he like stumbles up and, and pulls himself up the ropes. Nice, nice. And yeah, I think uh, when you get backstage, uh, see Colton Craig is there, and he's like, he's like, I mean, th- thanks for putting that. You know, thanks for putting him over. I think there's there's potential with him, and if if he can. Uh, if you can stick around a little bit, I think we might have might be able to add him to the roster next time we're up here. I do a job for that kid as long as I have a job. Like yeah. You, well, as long as you keep doing the jobs, you have a job here with me in the Imaginary Internet <laughs> Wrestling Federation. Thanks, boss. I'll uh, I slap him on the shoulder, right. like, like probably to... probably a little too hard for his small frame. Yeah. Like, like well. <laughs> Ow. And uh, you know I'll I'll uh, you know I'll I'll be I'll be paying all the boys after we get the after we get the receipts from the bar so <laughs> I'll I'll get back to you later okay <laughs> all right free hot dogs right uh, as long as Manny's. you can two free coleslaw all the coleslaw you want mm. yes all right uh cool so um. Sounds like. Do we need to wrap up pretty soon? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that's. Uh, well, let's let's wrap up with uh, one more little little set of things, if that's cool. Okay. Um. I think we'll you know we'll kind of cut to they. There's a couple more you know. Uh, there's a couple more matches on the show. Uh, you know, the rest of the show proceeds. But I think we'll we'll cut to kind of the end. 
where um, uh, we'll have another um, God, I can't read my own writing here. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we just uh, like to have a, a, a final kind of uh, segment where we let's see the uh, let's see Walter T Fuzzy Bottom the second mm-hmm. and Joe the Jagoff backstage on camera. Um, uh, I want to see how does Walter feel about Job stealing his bear hug finisher. Well, right now Walter is in a deep sweat. Mm-hmm. Like everything is drenched in sweat, and he he's panting and he's he's half drunk because because the show's almost over. Right, and he's he's just yelling. That's why he goes on first. Yes, <laughs> he he grabs. Job and just starts shaking him, going, you used my move. You used my move. Over and over again still. Mm -hmm. And then he takes the deep breath and goes, nobody has done that move better than me. And while he's like shaking Job, this is when when Aaron comes in to to, to break up this... uh, Travesty of of justice with his his hated enemy taking it out on this poor hapless Jagoff, or however else you want to take it. Yeah. Let's see what what he thinks about uh, what's happened so far on the show. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> I'm running in. Uh yeah, just running into this kind of seg- this this uh, backstage segment where where Walter and Job are are in a bit of an altercation over the bear hug move being stolen. All right, so I, I, I come into uh, Fuzzy fuzzy Bottom, the second, shaking Job, um, carrying two hot dogs. <laughs> um, Everyone gets two. Yeah, well, I'm only carrying two. <laughs> um, it's a handshake I, I, agreement. Yep, I, I, I walk over, I separate them, I hand Job the hot dogs. <laughs> Both of them? Both of them. And then I punch uh, Fuzzy Bottom the second right in the face. Nice. Ooh. I think that's uh, that's when the 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 periscope feed, you know, starts <laughs> jerking again, and then uh, goes dark, and then over over their over the social media channels, I uh, say, uh, oh, Aaron and Walter, that their differences of opinion have spiraled out of control. Are they going to be able? What is this going to mean for the IIWF? And 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 what does it mean for Walter T. Fuzzy Bottom the Second's uh, contendership for the Imaginary Internet Intercontinental <laughs> Championship? We're all going to have to find out next uh, at our next show, which we'll be announcing soon as soon as we secured our next our next location. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much, everyone, for watching tonight's presentation on the Internet of the Imaginary Internet Wrestling Federation. And we will see you all next time. I and it cuts, and and it cuts, covers. Yeah. And it cuts to, like, some cheesy 80s music, like, in the background. I respond to the social media with a tweet reply that's mm-hmm. a bunch of capital letters, percent signs, and numbers and a picture of my chin, because I'm a steel worker and I don't know how to use Twitter. <laughs> I don't have I don't have a Twitter, so I don't see it, because mm-hmm. I am I am from the from the old country, from the old days. Where from the old country the of old Canada. Canada. <laughs> yeah, Toronto, the old country. Canada. So he sends a telegram to me. <laughs> so I call I call Fuzzy Bottom, or not? I call I call uh, Job. And I just start yelling into his machine about how I want to. <laughs> his machine. <laughs> yeah, his answering machine. Still has a tape. Yes. Mm-hmm. Calling it like, telling telling him I'm going down to the VFWs. He has to pluralize, pluralize everything. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm going to make sure that Burr doesn't show up. Mm. And I hang up the phone. 
and then I like like you know those old phones where you when you slam it, mm-hmm. it, it makes that ding. That's what happens. It, it's and a rotary. It, Is it a rotary? It, yes, and you can okay. hear it over the machine. And I tell him to post this on the Twitters or the book faces. I use those words, and right. then I hang up the phone. Put, put this on the Twitters. Yes. Um, There's a new tweet that uh, comes out at uh, uh, 5.30 in the morning when I get up to have my bacon and eggs and Iron City beer. Um, that's a, that's a exclamation, exclamation, percent, ampersand, ooh la la, and it's a picture of my nose. But still, <laughs> I don't know how to use Twitter. There's like... Four we're people. world building here. We're world building. There are four people who are obsessively following all of these things and trying to figure out the secret codes that you're putting into your <laughs> tweets because clearly they must mean something. And trying to match it up with the what city you're going to be in next. It's some or... kind of indie wrestling board that was made in 1997 and hasn't been updated <laughs> since. And everything that I put out there is translated into phallic symbols. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That's about right. Awesome. And that, eight equals D sword. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that is a, a session of Worldwide Wrestling. Wow. Oh. That's amazing. Thank you guys. Uh, as you can see, you know, with uh, kind of the, the pacing and the length of the episode is going to depend a lot on the number of players and the gimmicks that they choose. Mm-hmm. Um, like the jobber kind of put, you know, kind of puts it into one direction. Uh, if you guys had, you know, chosen all characters that were more like in the ring fighty, maybe it would have been like a triple threat or something, or we would have done a tag team thing. So it's very responsive to the to the you know the player the the gimmicks being played and then like the player's interest in what they want to see. But yeah, I thought that was great, and you all That's did great. you all did great. I, I thought it was a lot of fun. Again, like I said, not being too deep RPG guy, like you know, and again, obviously we all have our various levels of pretty deep seated wrestling knowledge. Right. Uh, so I think that really lent, this really lends to it, and and you can do a lot of fun stuff with that. Um, because I think I think when you walk into something like this and use like oh there's this giant book and there's dice and you have to figure out how numbers work. Um, people get scared of that, and and then and it's nice to see that this is you know as long as you have a good booker, I want to say dungeon match master. Um, no, yeah, it, it's pretty good to kind of follow along with. I mean, there wasn't much counting and statting in this thing. You know, it's just enough structure to kind of get things going. Great, thanks. Yeah, I so think the that's kind of the goal is that the 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 structure is basically how I see how wrestling works. Yeah, if yeah. you already are into wrestling, the structure doesn't feel like it. It doesn't feel like there's a. I won't say it fades into the background, but like, yeah, you don't need to pay a whole lot of attention to it because it just kicks in when you do wrestling things. So. Uh, Riz and Chachi, do you have any final thoughts after playing a game of this, or do you have any questions for them while we have them here? Yeah. I, I think it's a good take on uh, the role playing, the the tabletop mm-hmm. uh, role playing genre. Um, it's something that hasn't really been thought out or thought of before um, previously in this genre. Um, and it flows really, really well as long as you have, I, I imagine as long as you have a good uh, promoter in this case. I mean, um, It helps that you, you who created the game <laughs> was, was the game master in this case. Mm-hmm. Um, but I imagine that there are other people out there that can pull it off well. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I know I couldn't do it. Um, I mean, I think it, you'd be surprised, just, but... No, I, I, it's just one of those things that I'm not able to do. I'm more of a, a sit-down-and-play. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't want to have to think about it as I'm going. Sure. Or, mm-hmm. But, I, I mean, overall, yeah, it, flew, it, it flowed really well. Great. Um, there isn't anything that you... you have a hard time understanding, um, and all of the the dice rolls and decisions and everything are flatly laid out. So, I mean, it, there's no room for interpretation as far as the rules go, mm-hmm. which I think is a, a problem that a lot of role playing tabletop games have. Um, but I mean, yeah, it, it, great idea, great concept, uh, great execution. So, well done. 
Right. Thank you. Well, you, I mean, you guys were great to, to play with, so that helps a lot. <laughs> like, I've, I'm, like, the less, like, the least knowledgeable in D&D mm -hmm. and all the, like, all the other RPGs that are out there other than, you know, the video game thing that I thought we were going to do. Um, but but it was... It, it made it made for a good time, and it, it's, it's good because I know the subject matter. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't need to know dungeon and Dungeons and Dragons and being trolls or giants or whatever. I need to know wrestling, and that's, that's what we've been doing for the past few... Year. Uh, that is long a, time. For a long time. For a, long, a very long, long time. time. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the the uh, the goal was kind of to balance so that people who are into wrestling could play it without mm -hmm. without a lot of friction, and then people who are experienced gamers can can discover wrestling through playing it a little bit. Um, and like you said, it, it is a book. There are a lot of pages, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, like a good third to half of it is like uh, other re like examples of wrestlers, um, reference materials for for how wrestling works for people who don't know how wrestling works. So there's a lot of kind of prose, and then the mechanic stuff is if one person, the person who's running it, you know, is willing to read it and kind of internalize the structure and when to apply edge cases and stuff like that, uh, then this is how it rolls. We're you just roll up and have pick a character and, and start playing and we go from there. So that's awesome. I, I want to point out so so Nathan's done here. Uh, um, if you look at his white his site uh, ndpdesign.com, uh, he does gothic horror. He does uh, 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 war uh, RPGs. Uh, he's got one about Mass of the Mummy King. So I mean it's it's a little bit of everything, all kinds mm -hmm. of subject matter. It just is the one kind of lands in our wheelhouse. I think it was a really fun uh, game to play. Man, I, I want I want this to be an ongoing thing for the Mayhem guys. At least we got <laughs> we got we got to get a promoter, or at least get, get you back every once in a while and do this. Now that some of us know how to play it, so yeah, I think we could do we could do some some uh, every so often thing. I'm kind of with the Kickstarter and everything. I'm kind of booked for the next little while, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll we'll definitely keep in touch and. Well, thank you so much for, for taking time out to, to hang with us on this. Uh, the Kickstarter is doing awesome. Uh, as we speak, you have 18 days left. Uh, you have uh, almost $10,000 of your 3750 goal. Holy yeah. crap. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's, uh, the, so the, the supplement, the Kickstarter is for the supplement where um, it's on like international styles of wrestling. So it's Lucha Libre, Strong Style, Poro stuff, uh, world, of <clears throat> world of Sport Grappling. Uh, indie style, uh, kind of focusing on the indies as their own thing, and kind of so some new gimmicks to support all that, new match stipulations, kind of some stuff to expand the game for people who are experienced with it, and mm -hmm. have kind of like figured out all the little bells and whistles and, and little interactions, and so there's some expansion stuff, <clears throat> expansion stuff to make the promotion more interesting and 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 do some new things. So. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Go check it out. Uh, and, of course, people can tweet you as well, right? Yep. Uh, ND Paletta down on, down on my uh, little lower third there on Twitter. I'm very accessible. You can get in touch with me through the website. Um, hit me up. Let me know what you think or if you have any questions. And, uh, you know, play some, play some rad games. Awesome, and I'll try to get all those links here in the uh, show notes and everything. We'll get this over on WrestlingMayhemShow.com, in the feeds, wherever it makes sense. And everybody check it out. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Chachi. Thank you, Riz. At Chachi Says on the Twitter, InsertCoinToBegin.com. Uh, at Riz Plays Games on the Twitter, and, of course, his YouTube page as well for The Riz. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys next time. Oh, I'm at Sorgatron. <laughs>